Hi, it's Jonathan. Many years ago, back in 1995, 96, you know, I was doing a show in Atlantic City and I took a day trip down to the New York area and I came upon this quaint little guitar shop. For the life of me, I couldn't remember the name. And in there was some GNL guitars. I tried one of these and I actually fell in love with it, but you know, couldn't get myself to buy one because back then I had like three kids, you know, and they were growing up and they wanted to stretch my finances. And it's a hassle for me to bring back additional guitars, you know. So I walked away from the shop, you know, wondering whether I'll have a chance to come upon a Giona guitar again, which I really like. Many years later, um, Giona guitars finally arrived in Singapore and they were predominantly made are uh, in Korea, in Japan, and in Indonesia. And there are some US uh, pieces around, but I didn't quite like them, you know. And, well, that was it, you know. I thought, you know, my GNL experience is like, you know, <laughs> that's it, you know. Yesterday, I went down with my friend Jeff to a old music shop called City Music, which I haven't visited for a long time. This music shop has been around for decades, and I know the people there, you know, they're really kind. They were, they were actually the, the, uh, the official dealers of uh, Line 6 stuff. You know? So I got all my Line 6 stuff from them previously. And guess what? They had GNL guitars. They are now the official dealers of GNL guitars in Singapore. And I saw this particular one hanging on the wall. And this, of course, is the GNL SE 500.
So this Qatar is pretty special in a way because this falls under the custom specification series. Qatar was made in 2017 in Fullerton in the US. And it features a base wood body with a sonic blue paint job. You know, and um, it comes with uh, three single coil of the MFD series, which is the magnetic field design. A GNL exclusive uh, tremolo system as well as our tuners. A bone nut, medium jumbo frets, and a beautiful quarterson maple neck with wonderful grain on the fretboard itself. And this is like, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's <laughs> yeah, it's really pretty.
So this guitar features a, a mini toggle expander switch. I will show you what it's all about. And it gives you um, more variations in sound other than the standard five-way switch where you get from the normal single call uh, setup. Very interesting. I find that the, the sound is so usable because you, you know, it, it gives you a, little, a bit more out of phase than what a second or the, the, the fourth position can do. And um, with the first position with the mini mini toggle expander switch on, you have a combination of all three or all three pickups at one time with the emphasis on whichever switch you're at at the five way. So for example, you are on the uh, the fifth position, which is the neck pickup, and you have the mini toggle expander on. You have all three pickups activated, but with a bit more emphasis on the first pickup. And it's so interesting, you know. I, I could get really one really nice sound, especially the clean ones, you know. The guitar plays beautifully. I do not know whether the setup was done in CD music or you know back in the uh, in the factory. I believe it was done pretty well in the factory because uh, you know spot on. The setup was spot on. The only thing I did to do was to adjust the truss rod because this guitar has been in Singapore for a long time, for two years I guess, for a year and a half, a year a year. And you know the humidity in Singapore, so I had to like uh, tighten the, the truss rod just a little bit. And the action is just, it's just great. This is my first time playing a GNL. I'm telling you, I'm so impressed. Um, I'm a fan of Fender's guitars, and I'm a fan of Stratocasters. And knowing the fact that this was made, you know, uh, from the original founder of Fender Company, you know, it just um, <laughs> makes me really glad you know uh, that I have finally owned a piece of equipment that is from the guy who designed the Strat, who designed uh, the Telecaster. So GNL has a whole range of guitars and basses you know and uh, some of it comes from different factories. Some from Japan, Korea, Indonesia and of course from the Fullerton factory in the States. And even, uh, even this uh, state made or US made guitars they have like a couple of categories you know one is the Fullerton series and then you have the um, US made series and of course you have the custom series and you can actually customize uh, whatever you want you know like a custom shop thing right so it's pretty interesting you know and I, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited to see what uh, was in store in the future for City Music when they bring in more GNL guitars. So FYI, City Music is also the dealer of uh, Martin guitars in Singapore. So if you like Martin guitars, you know, that's the place to go to. So I hope you enjoyed this little video about this beautiful guitar. You know, I, you know all these videos that I've made, you know, playing my friend's guitar and playing guitars that I bought. It's, uh, it's a grand experience, you know, but once in a while you chance upon a guitar that you really love. And this is one of them, right? And the other one, of course, is my white Japanese Strat. And of course, the other guitars that I own, I love all of them. <laughs> but, you know, this is kind of like, this has a special place in my heart, you know. So, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe to this channel, please feel free to go ahead. And uh, I'll see you again 
in the next video. So you guys take care. Ciao.